Jesus. And it certainly was today. As the Blue Devils run away from the Hawks. 82 to 55 the final. They close out non-conference play with a 27 point win here at home. Now 10 and two on the year, winners of four in a row. Well, proud of the first month of the season. Uh, playing 12 games in 34 days. It's been a whirlwind, and I thought our guys really grew up. Uh, different experiences playing big time environments against big time opponents. We played five of the top 30 teams and you know, played some really good teams here at home. And uh, you know, we have ways to go and a lot of areas we can improve, but I did think we got a lot better. Our defense really stood out to me. Our offensive rebounding was as good as anybody's in the country. And we're starting to figure out what it takes to win. And uh, so proud of this group and know we have so much more we can accomplish together. Typically in years past, we'll look at all 12 games and you know statistically what we've done. And, uh, and this year, I think it's hard to do that because we haven't had our full team together and really who we've been the last four games versus the first four games, for example, to me is night and day. Uh, but consistently, we've been a great offensive rebounding team. Uh, our defense has been solid overall. Offensively, has gone in waves, but uh, for us, now that we have our you know, full team back and, and healthy, I'd like to see us push the ball more and get up and down in transition and uh, push for easy opportunities. And then it's figuring out how to win. And we've been, been in enough close games. Uh, we've talked about game situations, how to handle pressure, uh, and what to do as it gets late in the game and who can be on the floor. I think those are the things that we can really improve on uh, with practice over the next couple of weeks. And then uh, as we start ACC play, uh, going into the rest of the year. 7-6, he's in trouble now, trying to step through, having a really hard time. Finally gets it to Tandy, they're down to two to shoot, and Blakes took it away. Picked his pocket, a chance to run. It's Grandison flying into lane and off the right. Great defense at the end of the shot clock. They got the steal with one second left and then immediately looked to pass ahead. Grandison able to finish. Well, our defense has been really good. Uh, it started with a it has started with the pressure on the ball, and Jeremy Roach has done a really good job. He can really defend the ball. We have great rim protection uh, with Derek Lively back there, Ryan Young, uh, Kyle playing the four. We have great size, and our length on, on the wings is it start it starts there with each player in each position defending the, the the ball. And our wings are very versatile, and they've done a good job. But for us, being able to still protect the paint but create some more turnovers and more opportunities uh, for our offense. And um, it takes, it's, it's not the easiest balance to find the, the discipline, but also the aggressiveness and activity off the ball uh, to create some steals and, and, and to wreak some havoc. So for us, uh, that's, that's the next step of our defense. All Access is brought to you by Gatorade and our commitment to fuel tomorrow. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. With Zero Sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football ready big bow box. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah, road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. 
Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice and Tires. At Therabody, we believe that everybody deserves a chance to keep going, keep dancing, keep celebrating, and reuniting. It's never too late. Because everybody is a Therabody. A big bow box says a lot about a person. Like, they have a mighty hunger, a powerful thirst, and take tailgating very seriously. Game day and beyond, grab a football-ready big bow box. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off of a curl, here's Grandison along the right baseline. Gets a screen from Lively. Shoves one off for Roach at the top of the key. Back for Grandison. A screen from Filipowski. Inside it goes for Kyle. He's got all four of the points so far. Out for a Grandison three. A high archer. And the Blue Devils are back within one. Roach on the drive. Got inside. Oh, what a find to Young to lay it in. Proctor. One dribble inside for Young. Back and down, into the paint he goes. Has some room, floats it up and in. Ryan Young has his first field goal. Grandison for Lively, back door, it's there for Grandison. Off the window and in. The strong move for Grandison, he's got five and the Blue Devils back within one. Bounce pass for Young. Dungey all over him, backs him down into the paint. Step through, off the window and in. Big time bucket for Ryan Young. There's that great footwork that he has and that savvy experience. All four transfers have been off the charts for us. Uh, Ryan Young, Jacob Grandison have really contributed off the court and on the court. And they've brought toughness. They're all about winning. They understand what it takes to win in big time games. And then you, know, you think about Max Johns and Kill Catchings. And if you watch this practice, you would understand the value of both of those guys on a daily basis. They're tough, uh, they're, they're physical. Uh, they've been well coached for four years and so between the four of them the maturity that they brought to our group and uh, the the fact that they're just all in to Duke winning and all in to the Duke experience has been uh, a huge addition to our group. Blake's in the right corner feeds it inside for Filipowski huge height advantage on Thornton and kick out for Blake's inside what a feed to Young off the right window and in. Jalen Blake's Pass down low, and Ohio State seen enough of that. A timeout taken by the Buckeyes. The Blue Devils have their biggest lead of the night. I guess when I was thinking about you know my college career and then uh, the opportunity to take a graduate year is kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, I felt like uh, I still have you know a lot of good years left to play basketball. I, I love playing basketball. It's a you know huge passion of mine. Um, but there was also a huge opportunity uh, to pursue a graduate degree um, and. It just seemed like that was the obvious thing to do, uh, be able to keep doing what I love, then at the same time um, add, a, add a degree um, to, my, to my resume that I think will be able to help me you know, pursue uh, whatever endeavors in the future. Good defensive stance, goes into the paint, here comes a double team from Young, but it's a bigger set blocked by Grandison. Got his own rebound, blocked by Young. Nothing easy inside, it's out of bounds and Boston College will keep it. So when I was looking for a school, uh, looking at what my next steps would be, there was really two things that um, I was that really mattered to me. And the first thing was just uh, pursuing winning and being able to contribute to uh, winning season. I'd never been to a postseason or to the tournament before, and that was something that was really on the top side of my list: is being able to help the team contribute to winning and to making it uh, to a postseason. Uh, and then the other side of that is just pursuing uh, a degree in business that hopefully you know further my career um, off the court whenever that time comes and uh, I just thought that Duke exemplifies those two things and the balance between those two things higher than you know the majority of other uh, universities crossing over a hit ahead for catchings behind the defense he'll rise up and lay it in from the outside looking in it's hard to see the the toll that a, that a college basketball season can take on on your mind on your body um, especially when other, all the other students are going home for Christmas and you're traveling around the country playing games. Uh, it becomes a very long season and just 
to kind of be there in order to you know help guys through it and be mature and make sure everyone's you know going to class and doing what they need to do academically like there's just a lot of things that you need to balance being a student athlete and I'm sure that's even on a, on a bigger stage being you know Duke basketball and it also being a world-class institution academically so I think I bring a lot of maturity in, in, in that regard and just being able to be a leader being able to be someone older who uh, can mentor and you know help out in, in really any situation kind of being a, a big brother to, to a lot of these young guys my thing at Princeton was kind of like doing the little things so I never really was like that guy getting like the center of attention, but I was always, you know, making sure I was gapping the help on defense, or I'm boxing out the big on a like um, on a like late switch, or I'm diving on the floor for a loose ball, I'm calling out screens early, I'm getting over screens. Like I do all those little things, I'm kind of like a PJ Tucker-ish player, um, and so those are like obviously the players here the freshmen are really talented and they're gonna win a ton of basketball games but the, it's those things in the margins that make a difference and I think I can um, I hope to bring some of that to to the culture here well when we looked at our team as a whole and what uh, what we felt we were missing or what we needed to add really each of them checked the box of each individually obviously were different things but you know with Ryan Young and Jacob Grandison you know to play for sure with uh, you know we knew we needed some more uh, on our team and then with Max and Kale just their just seeing what they did at you know Harvard and Princeton respectively uh, we just knew they'd be great additions here and whether they still they have to be ready to help us in a pinch foul trouble and if something happens they're capable of playing in a game uh, but they push our guys uh, they they've done a great job and really they've balanced out uh, our young guys and they're learning a lot and figuring out on the fly uh, where these guys, they know what needs to be done, and it's been a great compliment for each other. Jayden, the two guys in the back, Flip and Max, can see everything. Jaden can only see what's in front of him, so you guys got to be talking to him there. You guys both know that it's his man. He might be the one that doesn't see it because he he's not going to turn around and see everything. So you guys can talk there and tell him right away, just push him right up to him. Yeah, it's a pretty unique roster. It's definitely different than what I'm accustomed to, um, but I'm excited to be able to bring in, you know, a veteran voice into the locker room and on the court as well. There's a lot of, uh, you know, we don't, I'm one of the only experienced players of, on the court. I bring, you know, probably over 100 games or close to 100 games uh, of experience at the Power Five level. So just being able to take the court with some of these young guys and be able to, you know, show them, hopefully show them the ropes as well as uh, the other guys on the team. But uh, in terms of attributes and playing, you know, I think uh, I've always been um, somewhat of a hard-nosed, uh, dirty work kind of player, uh, getting rebounds, doing the hard stuff, doing, you know, playing physically under the post and in the block, um, as well as being able to facilitate offensively and score in the paint. Uh, so I hope to be able to, to bring all those things to this team as well. I know the car accident wasn't technically your fault. But we, as the insurance company, deny this claim. We might fix your car. But medical bills? Pain and suffering? Lost wages? You're asking for a lot. Oh, you've got a lawyer. This conversation is over. Tell the insurance company you mean business. Call on the Hurt Line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. Come in now and choose from a great selection of new Ford trucks and SUVs, in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select vehicles, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Plus, new inventory is arriving daily, so you can drive one home for the holidays. Lock in this low rate, plus make no payments for up to 90 days on a new 2022 Ford F-150. Choose from 6,000 trucks and SUVs, only at your Carolina Ford dealer.
So to be able to you know, go to one of the top business schools in the country and obtain a degree from there is unbelievable in and of itself. Then in addition, I get to experience uh, Duke basketball and be an intricate part in, in creating this new legacy. And I'm just extremely excited and extremely grateful. The opportunity to come to a place like Duke, like I mentioned, I think they, they Duke exemplifies the balance between the highest level of athletics and uh, the highest level of academics. Like Duke is the best in the country of basketball, and like at the top of the top in terms of academics too. So you really can just be the best that you can be. There's really nothing holding you back except yourself. Uh, we're at the front entrance of the Fuqua School of Business, and behind me is the cafeteria. So you can see it's pretty packed with kids right now, as it probably is for the next many times from 11 a.m. to uh, 2 p.m. Uh, a lot of people just go there and hang out, just ping pong tables, things like that. Yeah. This is a pretty common hallway. Walk this way to get to and from class, go into Fox cafeteria. Like, if you think of Fuqua, like, this is it, all these flags and stuff, like, we're here all the time. We just got out of class today. We had econ and finance, and uh, now we're just getting some work in. I think Kale's doing a quiz. I gotta yeah, look over some assignments. Out. Woke up at like 5.35 for a 6.30 lift today. Um, got out of lift around 7.30 a.m. Walked straight over after a shower, quick bite to eat. Started class at eight. Uh, we have our first class today. It was microeconomics from eight to 10.15. Uh, and then from there, second class finance and capital markets today started at 10.30, went to 12.45. We'd have a little bit of downtime usually here before practice starts. Typically, we'd have maybe an hour in between, try and eat something and head right over to practice. This is everything that you know needs to happen in order for us to get to our goals. I've just kind of embraced the challenge, and when everyone else uh, around you is doing the same things, it's, it's pretty easy to just you know fall in love with the work and fall in love with the process. The thing that I'm most excited about is definitely the student support. Uh, you know, I have grew up uh, watching Duke games. Like I'm just excited to be a part of something that you know is so treasured. Uh, the day-to-day -day mentality, the day-to-day -day intensity that needs to be brought in order for us to get where we where we have. Uh, there's just we just don't have the luxury of waiting back and saying maybe next year. And I think more than anything, that really helps us rather than hinders us. That's a wrap for us here at MMS. Hope you got a good sense of uh, what we do day to day. And uh, let's get back to it. Let's go to the gym. We're really lucky to have the Fuqua MMS program here. And, you know, Fuqua is one of the best business schools in the country. And so when we're talking to, you know, a few of our, you know, a few of these transfers like Ryan, Max, and Kale, they're in it this year. Uh, it was an easy sell. And we didn't have to sell them on Fuqua and what it means to get a degree from there. And in addition to, you know, their undergraduate degree, and in addition to the perspective of playing basketball at Duke, uh, Fuqua is a big deal and uh, sets you up for life. And we have a great relationship with them and how we're able to work together. But really proud of bringing in high character people uh, where getting their degree really matters to them. And that's been a huge addition. Uh, really something we've started to do the last couple of years uh, where more of our guys have gone in graduate programs. Well, we're here for an amazing event this morning. Uh, we're here for Dribble for Victory. Uh, we're going to dribble the ball around campus for a mile. Uh, we're raising awareness and funds for the Jimmy V Foundation and Duke Children's Hospital. We have 13 amazing captains. Uh, with kids who have battled cancer and they're here uh, to lead us and show us the way. And, you know, Coach K has showed an amazing dedication and a foundation for raising awareness for cancer really for a long time. And that's something we want to continue and sharing the legacy with. And proud of our team for being here. It's an honor to be here with my family and with my kids. And we're excited to have a great walk and sharing this together. And this is something we want to do every year. So Duke community, Duke family, let's continue to grow this and make this a special event we can do every year. All right, with the help of our honorary captains, you guys know what we're saying? On the count of three, here we go, we're saying ready, set, dribble. Ready, one, two, three. Ready, ready set, dribble! Here we go! Are we walking? Here we go. Let's go! Let's go! Talking about heads up. How you doing? How you doing? Good, good, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Let's have a good year. I'm getting my ball handling up though for practice. 
Oh, watch me. You definitely the oldest line leader to ever have. To ever no, I'm not. Leader. There's a lot of leaders in this world. What are you talking about? <laughs> don't, let, don't, don't let them talk about this age thing. Hey, August, you got left hand? OK. You don't got it between the legs, though. Try it. Do like this, do like this. Oh, I can't even do it. Oh, you did it. That count. I'll count it. Right? Hey, Reese, I'm so glad I play an indoor sport. I'm so glad I play an indoor sport. They just be out. Yeah, this hand, this one, this one. Yeah. Yeah. to that point. You guys thought I wasn't going to win this race? Uh-oh. 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 Whoa. I'm warmed up. I'm ready for practice. and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Way back when. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Tires. There's a reason every Odyssey is named after the Odyssey. Because the world's most famous story isn't about staying put. It's about being there. So for those who want a story to tell, we have a world full of places to start. Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Carlos Boozer anchored the middle of the lineup for three of the top seasons in Duke basketball history. During Boozer's career, the Blue Devils won the ACC title every year, finished the regular season ranked number one in the Associated Press Poll every year, and claimed the 2001 NCAA championship. Duke's all-time leader in field goal percentage, Boozer capped his final season by earning first-team All-ACC honors, along with his selection as the ACC Tournament Most Valuable Player. Carlos being honored and going into the Duke Athletics Hall of Fame, uh, obviously it's well-deserved, and you know I came a few years after him as a player, but you know that 2001 team has always been a favorite of mine. So I was at the national championship game, so I know very well uh, Carlos of the player that he was, but in recent years, I really got to know him on a deeper level as a person and just knowing what a big time guy he is. And he's, you know, great with everybody he comes across and meets. And we were fortunate to have him at one of our practices and he spoke to our team. And really what he said was even better than what I could have said to them. And, you know, he talked about being in the moment, uh, enjoying this, not skipping steps and being all into winning. And that ultimately is gonna to translate to, you know, future success in their careers and what needs to happen. 
but having Carlos here was a huge honor, and hopefully we can do what he says the rest of the season and uh, take that to heart. But I played with great players. You know, Jay Will was the best player on, on the college floor. Shane was our best leader. And obviously we had coach and we had a bunch of other guys that were all went pro. But you could be a star in your role. I don't know what your guys' roles are and, that, and it's, uh, it's interchanging. You know, you guys may be a leading scorer the first half of the season. Somebody else, else may do it the, re the rest of the season. Just be all in. That's what I would tell you guys. Whatever your role is, all you guys want to be pros, be all in in whatever your role is. You know, dive into being a Duke basketball player, being a student athlete, you know, because some of the best years that I played 15 years in the NBA, won a gold medal with coach, played all over the place in, in the world, and some of my best years were right here on this campus. And it goes by quick. Some of the best players I played with, right? I played with Kobe, I played with LeBron, I played with D. Rose, I played with a ton of guys on all-star teams, and they talk. The better talkers you guys are as a team, the better your team will be. You know, get outside of yourself. Sometimes when you're, when you're not talking, it's probably because you're overthinking. You're thinking too much about whatever you think you got to do on the court. But if you talk, other people will hear you. The actions will take care of itself. I think you guys can be great. I really do. So thanks for the time, guys, and good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate that. We, we this out. Ooh, it looks good. I might not fit it anymore, yeah, but it so looks good. On behalf of our program, want to give this UC booth. I appreciate Congratulations. that. Congratulations. By the way, Thank we've you. had it for six years. Uh, we were just waiting until they got let you in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Develop relationships with your coaches mm. where 20 years later, we're best friends. <laughs> like, get to know yeah. each other. Yeah. Give it up. Besides winning, that's the best thing. Yeah. And that's where the brotherhood comes in. Yeah. You know, don't, you know, give it up. Give it up to each other, but really give it up to your coaches and especially your head coach. You yeah. know, give it up, all right?